Hello there everyone, welcome back to your favorite show, Life is Pain, I'm your host, Mountain General, and today we are continuing our Byzantine mega campaign in Victoria 2. I got to say, I work around the converted game and it was a lot of fun and pain, I feel like my brain is dead, but I think it will only get worse in Victoria 2 when we encounter all those rebels. So I'm looking forward to this game, because times of Victoria are the times of industrial revolution and colonization. I really love those activities, so this is my favorite game. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to join our Discord server and check out the links in the description of this video. So enough of just prolonging the intro to one f***ing minute, let's actually play this game for once. So now after Europa Universalis 4 I can finally say that we here start in a really great position. So as you can see the Europe looks um, very messy, the Germany has to form to clean up this mess. And here in America you can see that the Spanish still control the Canada and Alaska and their free colonies Illinois Empire of Mexico and Florida were liberated by themselves and you can see here one giant tribal nation Iro something like that here the British still control the whole center of the America and Portuguese the whole South America except these two ports that um, I'm proudly controlling and here in Africa I reduced all those African nations so we can have a scramble for Africa because as I said previously in my previous mega campaign you can't have Victoria 2 without scramble for Africa here I fixed the Asia well um for the most part because I don't want to um, uh, lose any more brain cells and yeah I removed all the colonies from Indonesia because it was just an eye sorrow and yeah I'm controlling the whole Oceania that's nice so we will in Hearts of Iron 4 have Bob Sample tanks so enough of the explaining now let's actually play the game but at first, let me try to fix the Greek economy and let's start our little colonial empire here in Africa. I think here in Africa we'll achieve many great things because I have a lot of ports near the African coast. Oh boy, I can't wait to civilize all those natives. Yeah, it turns out that um, you can't fix the Greek economy that easily. Yo, welcome to the first. Byzantine African colonies. Let's continue to Africa as further as we can. I think here in South Africa we will have a colonial race with the French, but I will win it. Oh boy, and it's great when you get a free war goal on uncivilized nation. When I said that we will have a colonial race here with the French, I wasn't wrong. Either way, I will beat the Frenchies in the trenches. Oh wait, it's not World War 1 yet. We can do this. Invest. I don't care how much this colony will cost me, I will get it. Now it's the thing of the honor. Holy moly. Guacamole. It appears that the Frenchies are running out of steam. I'm two investments ahead of them. Ha! What did I say? Glory to Byzantine colonial empire. We need more colonies. More. Ah, finally my country isn't going to blow up from seeing a comet. And now you can see that my little colonial empire is forming very nicely. Italians are trying to get here. I don't want them here in Africa. So let's take the Eritrea from them. Let me take my Greek boys for some pizza. Now the Eritrea is mine. Stay away from Africa, Italy. I think the Russian revolution has came earlier in this game. Ooh, what is this? Slovakia versus Hungary? Count me in. Ah, I remember a time in history when 40,000 Byzantines in 1834 burned down the Budapest and Slovakia is now nicely thick. I'm not helping them because I'm from Slovakia, no no no, they are in my alliance, that's why I'm helping. I really love how after Hungarian explosion this region calmed down, now we are one big Balkan family. Hmm. Should I be worried that the small arms factory is building in Palestine? Nah, it will be good. Do you remember my colonial empire from like few minutes ago? This is him now. Feel old yet? Just took a while to colonize, but man, it was worth it. They never got Ethiopia. 
Except the Byzantines did. Nobody expects Byzantine colonialism. Scratch all the jokes that I said about Frenchies in trenches. Now we are best friends. And I'm helping them to not surrender. You know when I'm looking to immigration map mode, everyone is trying to escape from my country. It's because of my economy. And it seems like the Florida is the land of opportunity in this world. Do you remember all those Turkish people that I sent to Australia in Europe Universalis 4? Now I can use them in my army. Oh boys, you know what this green land means? Scramble for Africa begins! Ah yes, this is the most satisfying part about Victoria when you are creating your colonies. Fuck to France, I have 2174 colonial power. I will win these two colonial races, no problem. I really like how the Spanish are just standing here in this province where is a colonial race. They are like, alright, there's colonial race. We are here just to protect the peace. I have so much colonial power that I can steal all the land and the resources from the natives. Oh, I meant civilize them. Yeah. You know, I'm at war with the Egypt like one millionth time. You don't fear Allah. You fear the Zeus. Yeah, you know, the Zeus, he was a cool guy. He fought a lot. That's why we have uh, Greek mythology. This is great to see. All of the Africa is mine. You know, one day, in the future when Africa will decolonize, all the African warlords will speak Greek. Just saying. Uh oh, the communist agenda. We want, no, we need a free society. Well boys, the communism was invented in Italy. But you know what I think we need? We need Victoria 3. I really want the sequel to this game. Well, this is the situation when you have to resolve your friend's argument. I think I will help the chef Boyardee. By helping chef Boyardee, I help myself for a Quebec. After beating the Spain and taking their Quebec, they will, they still want to be my friends. I I feel bad now. Oh well, mistakes were made. And I think you are now like, MG you are over 25 infamy, you're going to die. Uh, no, 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 I modded it a little bit, now you can take 30 infamy. And also I modified the war goals a little bit so you can take less infamy. Because I really want to see some expansion here in Victoria too not limited by some infamy. Well boys, I was able to somehow fix the Greek economy. This is the Greek economic miracle. I used the famous Greek construction of Suez Canal. They improved their economy with this canal. I think the most cursed thing in this game right now is Byzantine Siberia. And I just found out that uh, Constantinople is named Istanbul. What the f always has been. You know, it gets to the point when calling your whole alliance is an overkill. Oh, I remember the fine times when me and the boys were crusading against the Mamluks in EU4. It brings me a lot of good memories. I think I have somehow broken the game. Now my units can walk on the water like Jesus. I love how after the whole game I can now finally annex the Egypt. Fuck, the anarcho-liberals are everywhere. That doesn't matter that my country is on fire. The colonialism must go brrrr. Oh, and the fascism was born in Siebenbergen. Let's see how this ideology will change the world. Oh, don't you just laugh when 60,000 Greeks turn up to Russia to help suppress peasant rebellion? Because I do. I really like how we collectively with Germany, Portugal and some other my allies decided to burn the British Empire. This is the most fun war yet. You know, I can always find a time for some British dick flattening. After burning down the whole British colonial empire, I was able to steal Eritrea from them. Now this region of the world looks cleaner. Yo, if you want that race, please put their Byzantine flag. Yes, that's better. Oh well, the Russians have a communist revolution now. With this one rebel. And it's led by Dmitry Chipisov. I think he is a brother of Igor Chipisov from ISP's video. This confirms that 
Paradox games are in one big cinematic universe. You know, another com is risen up and um, I'm gas attacking them. No war crimes were committed here, don't worry. It's a revolution, it's not a war, it doesn't count. Ah, look at this, the Byzantine communist revolution. And this is how you suppress the communist revolution in your country. Ch ch Hmm, this looks very familiar. Ah, uh, those damn communists never learn. Off to kill all my civilians again. Now it seems like that the Germany wants to commit suicide in this crisis war. Yo everyone, prepare for World War Germany. And you can see here that the Germany is, well, fucked. I don't think that the Germany can hold us all back. The German Kaiser made the same mistake as Schmittler, starting a war on too many fronts. Hopefully, my African boys can arrive on time so that we can turn around this war. This war is total chaos. And I love it. Ah, look at this. The German is capitulating, like in every world war. Alright, I think today is enough of Victoria 2. Before the conversion I will show you the world, this is how the Europe turned out. And it's pretty good Europe, the Germany unified, the France unified and the Italy. Also the America looks pretty messy so I will be fixing some territories here and there. I'm really proud of the Africa how I colonized. I think my colonial empire is a little bit overpowered so I will tone the Byzantine empire in the conversion a little bit down. Here the sphere of influences, I was able to secure the whole Balkan, Russia and these two countries from Asia. Nobody wanted the Indonesia so I grabbed it. Also some little bits here in Asia as well as a Byzantine Siberia. So thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the previous and next episode if you haven't already.